Hello friends, the 2.4 liter four cylinder engine, two AZFE with 155 to 160 horsepower became the base in the line. It was combined with a four speed automatic transmission. Interestingly, this combination has quite satisfactory characteristics. Yes, the dynamics do not delight, but the car obediently responds to pressing the gas pedal. This is the choice of those who care more about things like fuel economy than about breathtaking acceleration and sophisticated mechanics. The SUV with a 3 liter V6, 1 MZFE with 220 horsepower is much faster than the base version. After restyling, the 1 MZFE gave way to a 3.3 liter V6, 3 MZFE with 215 to 230 horsepower. It runs quietly, delivers a smooth flow of torque, and doesn't consume too much fuel. Six cylinder units have a timing belt drive with a recommended first replacement threshold of 150,000 kilometers and a subsequent replacement interval of 90,000 kilometers. Only the four cylinder engine was equipped with a timing chain drive. The chain sometimes stretches after 200,000 kilometers. All engines use the proprietary VVTI variable valve timing system. It is very reliable. System malfunctions can occur due to the failure of the VVTI valve. Among the common ailments, intermittently failing oxygen sensors and knock sensors can be distinguished. In addition, at high mileage, throttle cleaning is often required. The hardware of the engines with proper operation and timely oil changes will last a long time. Otherwise, costly repairs or replacements are possible. So after 300,000 kilometers, a three liter V6 sometimes starts to consume a lot of oil. Consider yourself lucky if you manage to get off with the replacement of valve stem seals. But sometimes the reason is more serious, the occurrence of rings or piston wear. In the latter case, the engine is easier to replace with a contract one. The 2.4 liter engine has one unpleasant design defect. During operation in the cylinder block, the threads of the blockhead bolts are destroyed. As a result, the tightness of the channels is broken, fluid leaks appear, and overheating is possible. The problem was officially recognized and eliminated only in 2007. There are two options for solving the problem, replacing the engine or cutting a new thread and installing threaded bushings. Of the entire line, perhaps only the 3MZFE does not annoy with birth defects. Before restyling, a 4-speed Toyota slash ASIN U140 slash U240 series automatic transmission was used in tandem with the engines. After restyling, six-cylinder engines began to be aggregated with a 5-speed automatic Toyota slash ASIN U150 slash U250, a modified version of the 4 mortar. Many parts of the boxes are interchangeable. Among the improvements are a reinforced planetary gear set and an updated valve body with solenoids. The 4-band automatic feels more confident with a 2.4-liter engine. With the V6, especially with a dynamic driving style, it gives up earlier. Nevertheless, both boxes are very reliable, provided that the working fluid is updated in a timely manner, every 60,000 kilometers. Often, the reason for the box to go into emergency mode is a faulty engine knock sensor. More serious problems may arise after 300,000 kilometers. However, most of the units arrive for repair only after 500,000 kilometers. The torque converter, planetary gear set, rear cover, clutches, and pump bushings wear out. The symmetrical permanent all-wheel drive system, 5050, of course is not designed for serious off-roading. The Toyota Highlander is an outstanding all-rounder and the transmission is designed for extra grip on wet or snowy roads as well as in light terrain. Transmission elements are distinguished by enviable longevity. Only the crosses of the cardan shaft have to be changed, the resource of which is 250 to 300,000 kilometers. By this time, it may be necessary to update the internal or external CV joints. The suspension is completely independent, 
McPherson struts work in front, and a multi-link design conditionally similar to that used in the Camry works in the back. Smoothness, working out bumps, and reactions are reminiscent of a sedan. The front wheel drive version feels lighter and more precise than the all wheel drive version where there is a slight understeer. The steering provides decent feedback. Chassis components last a long time. The first, after 120 to 180,000 kilometers, are the rear silent blocks of the front levers. After 150 to 200,000 kilometers, it is the turn of the shock absorbers, and a little later, silent blocks of the rear levers. The front wheel bearings have to be changed after 200 to 300,000 kilometers. After 250 to 300,000 kilometers, the power steering pump may howl. However, more often you have to deal with leaky power steering hoses. They crack from old age. The Toyota body is not prone to corrosion. Rust is more likely a sign of body repair in the past. However, on older cars, there are local swellings of paint on the thresholds, tailgate, a pillars or above the windshield. A trifle like the gasket o ring of the fuel filler cap often leads to errors and the simultaneous lighting of the check, VCS, and track off indicators. The gasket loses its tightness after 200,000 kilometers. The ceiling ring can be picked up or the cover will have to be replaced. One of the common problems with machines with conventional air conditioning is the failure of the temperature or blower speed controller. It's all about the broken cable that needs to be soldered. After 250 to 300,000 kilometers, air of different temperatures sometimes starts to blow from the deflectors. The reason is a clogged heater core. A hybrid version of the Highlander appeared in 2005. The hybrid Synergy Drive power plant combines a 3.3 liter engine, 3MZ FE with 208 horsepower, and an electric motor generator. In addition, a continuously variable automatic transmission is used here, and the steering system and water pump are electrically driven. In hybrid models, the rear wheels are driven by an electric motor, which is prone to overheating in difficult terrain. In addition, transistors in the power switches of an expensive inverter fail with age. Fortunately, specialized services have learned to change them. In this version, there were problems with the steering rack. If you know of other model malfunctions, be sure to write about it.